Hi, I'm Brittany with Tech Tips, and I'm here today to talk to you about how to mark Pokemon for fast trading. Let's say you've got some Pokemon to trade and you wanna do it pretty quick. Here's a way to mark them so that you can do it way faster. Inside your Pokemon storage, you can see these pre-made buttons to find particular Pokemon. Instead of just using these pre-made buttons, we're gonna make our own custom search criteria. If you want more details about how that's done a little slower, go ahead and click the link That'll take you to my original video on creating custom search criteria. We're gonna go into settings, general, keyboard, text replacement, and hit the plus sign. They gotta be low stars, not traded. But sometimes you wanna know, are you gonna get two candies for this trade? Are you gonna get three candies in a candy XL or just one candy? So we're gonna put in a distance criteria. I'm gonna say distance, space, I'm gonna put in 10 kilometers. Because this is probably the one I do the most, it gets the most simple, Q, Po, Q, so it doesn't get in the way of anything else I might type, and P-O for Pokemon. But also, because then they're all at the top and it's easy to hit with my finger. Then save, and there it is, right at the top. Okay, let's try out our keyboard shortcut. Put your cursor into the search, and then type Q, Po, and it'll autofill it. So these are showing me all the things that I caught within 10 kilometers of here that are low stars and are not traded. You could also add and not shadow, or you could add not mythical or not legendary, whatever. I could label these all for trade. So I'm gonna trade all these and I can tag them. I have this trade tag, so I tagged them for trade. The advantage of using 10 kilometers is you just add another zero. It's that one we know. If it's more than a hundred kilometers away, you get three candies, and a Candy XL. Additional bonuses accepted. Now it's gonna be Pokemon within 100 kilometers, but if I hit a minus, all of a sudden it's Pokemon that are more than 100 kilometers away. That's gonna make it way easier for me to mark things that I'm gonna get nice distance trades for, either because I hatched them from a buddy egg or I was traveling somewhere and tag, and I hit trade. You can either use the tags to mark what you have to trade, or you could just run this search while you're actively in a trade window. Since my family and I do some amount of traveling around the state, it's pretty nice to have this quick and easy way to be able to trade and get distance trades with each other. I hope this helps you have more and better trades, but to fuel those trades, you better go catch them all. I'm not really gonna trade somebody a ratata, don't worry.